Hey guys, I'd mentioned in a previous video that 99% of the problems that I've seen people have with their SPAS-12 cycling is because they're using the incorrect ammunition. Well, I received an email from somebody who was the, the other 1% in that category, and here are the pictures that he sent me. Uh, he said he was pushing anything through, uh, or nothing, nothing would cycle through his gun, not buckshot, slugs, anything like that, and it wouldn't even move his, uh, his action at all. So if you look at the pictures on the left and the right, you can tell that his gas uh, ports are completely clogged and his valve isn't moving regardless of which way his valve selector is uh, in position. So um, I've been working with him a little bit and I, I wanted to put, get this video up so everybody could see exactly how they have to clean their gas system because chances are if you've bought one it's never been cleaned before. And while this is an extremely rare case, I've never seen anything like this happen before, it's uh, probably a good idea to learn how to do it. So. Uh, this is a little bit harder to do than just tearing the gun down, so I'll just throw that disclaimer out there that it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, it requires one special tool, these uh, expanding pliers. I've tried lock ring pliers and these just blow them out of the water for this particular job. Uh, I think I got them at expandingpliers.com, uh, 24 bucks or something like that. But if this is something, if you like working on your own guns, it might might be worth picking up. So. All right, we're going to get right into tearing the gun down, and I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your gun down, uh, get the front half off, take the rear side off, and then you're going to want to take off this, uh, you know, the front front screw also connecting the barrel to the heat shield. Move your action sleeve back to pump mode, and gently pull this out. Once it gets just past the uh, gas system here, just push it down off the heat shield and pull it straight out and set that aside. So here's your selector and this is what's opening and closing the gas ports inside your barrel. You probably can't see in there but that cutout is what's opening and closing the gas ports. So we need to take all that out and clean it because there's all kinds, every time you fire a shot you've got all kinds of gas and carbon and just nasty stuff going down in there and then if oil has ever gotten in there it's all just collecting and gathering in there. So. you're going to do is, uh, I think this opens them. You see this split right here. Uh, what we're going to do is take these expanding pliers and they really are the perfect size for going in there. Now this can get a little squirrely and sometimes this thing can shoot off and it is, it is on there really well so we're going to be really careful. Spread it and then your gas valve will fall out and roll across the table. There's also a friction spring in there. You'll want to set that aside. So you can even see just on the back of this uh, ring that's filthy. This is filthy. And then up in there is pretty dirty as well. So what we're going to do is wipe it off. And you might want to try and get some uh, some kind of uh, solvent. I wouldn't recommend oiling all of this simply because it's you really kind of want it to stick together. This really isn't an area that we want ultra lubricated. But really even just wiping it off you can see it's uh, pretty easy to get clean. Look at all that dirt. but it's already looking better. If you were going to lubricate any area, I would absolutely stay out of this ring right here because that's where uh, your selector is going to lock into and as I said before, you don't want that slipping around. Uh, yeah, so there's still some left on there, but just for time's sake, uh, typically what I would do is just get some solvent, hops or, or whatever you're a fan of, and, uh, and clean all that carbon out. And then you'll do the same thing inside here. Just wipe it out, it's filthy. And some, uh, some solvent here go a long way. 
For cleaning the gas ports themselves, uh, I've seen people like on Vepr 12s and Saiga 12s and whatnot use a pipe cleaner, which is not a bad idea. Chances are they're not clogged, but if it was something that you really wanted to clean out, maybe get a, some solvent on a Q-tip and let it soak on there for a while and then get some pipe cleaner and actually clean the ports out. And then the friction spring. Uh, one thing I will mention is without these expanding pliers, uh, the only other way I was able to get this off was using needle nose pliers and it took two hands and was a total bear. So these are definitely worth the, the cash if you're one of the types of people who likes to work on their own stuff. So, all right, we're going to pretend this is extremely clean, um, which it is a lot cleaner than what it was, a whole lot cleaner than what it was. So what you're going to do... On this, if it'll focus, ugh, you can see there's just a notch in there, and that's what's going to interface with this notch right here on the front of the gas. Well, that's so you don't really have to time either of them. It, it's it's kind of timed itself, so um, it will lock in there. And uh, I still, you know, like I said, I still don't advise lubricating right here. I, I just rather have that as uh, quote sticky as possible. So here's how it's going to go back in. Take the valve, push it back up, have the groove uh, towards the bottom. Take your friction spring here, drop it back on top, and it'll kind of find itself. Uh, now you're going to want the uh, lever to be on the right, like the actual lever part here, you're going to want it to be on the right of this notch. So line that up, just turn that slightly, line that up with the notch, and then you're going to rotate the whole thing so that your split is going to be accessible right here. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky and I hope I don't shoot the uh, shoot the selector across the room, but uh, I'm holding the uh, valve and everything in there with my middle finger up here, so that way it doesn't all fall out, so I won't get that. Drop it. Drop it right in, it might be just a little bit off. Yeah, okay, make sure you're pushing all the way up on there, and then it'll settle just about back down into where it needs to be. Perfect. And now that's going to be all clean and ready to go. The benefits, like I'd said, the gun will cycle a little better um, if your ports are clean. This is a lot easier to move, and it's just good to have a clean gun. So I hope this helps. Um, like I said, I think I got these things at expandingpliers.com. They do a great job. But uh, yeah, so uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks a lot, guys.